Clay Patton on the Rural Radio Network as we take a check now of your closing livestock trade with David Erickson of Ag Optimist in Akron, Iowa. And David, as we look here, cattle back in the positive to kick off the week. Are we seeing this as a positive start or does this simply mean we've got to fight the bears the rest of the week? Uh, I would look at it as a positive start, Clay. You know, last week, um, Monday, a week ago, left us with a little gap in the diesel live cattle chart from 184.42 down to 183.65. And today, the December contract traded up into that gap, but was not able to fully fill it out today. Um, you know, so we're going to be looking at resistance up ahead or up above at 184.35, which is 20 day moving average with with uh, some support down there at 182.47. Um, you know, one thing I wanted to point out is, you know, looking through some numbers today, the imports of beef have on, been on a steady incline, mostly due to the weather in Australia, which has uh, kind of pulled their production numbers ahead a little bit. And, you know, that coupled with their normal outlet, which is a lot of Asian markets have you know, kind of slowed their demand. You know, right now we're clipping at a pace about 6.4% higher than we were a year ago. Uh, our morning boxes here in the States were $1.97 higher in the choice, 11 higher in the select. You know, to get up and uh, fill that gap and to kind of turn this trend for sure, we're going to need some more positive fundamental news, um, you know, the, which is something that we'll be looking for the rest of the week. And again, is David Erickson with Ag Optimist. If you'd like to work with David on your ag risk management, visit agoptimist.com. Again, it's agoptimist.com. Do remember, though, the trading futures and options involved risk of loss may not be suitable for all investors. Do consider these risks before investing. 